Today I'm going to be giving a tour of my Interstate Load Runner and how I got it set up. This is a 2020 or 21 I believe um, Interstate Load Runner. I don't really know much about it. I think it's got like a 3,000 pound axle, single axle. Excuse the mess over here. Uh, that's the spare tire for it. Um, I want to get a mount to put it on there. I just haven't done that yet. Um, it's fully undercoated with this black coating. I'm not exactly sure what that is. Um, that will be great down the road for rust. As you can see, we get a lot of salt where I am. Um, so this is the inside here. And this I just kind of threw together quick. I did not have a ton of time to uh, work on this. So I got some weird quick shelves just with all scrap shit I had laying around. I think I just wanted to be able to grab it quick and go. And I went with, I've had these Husky rolling systems for probably a year, year or two. And they're not the greatest quality. But they are cheap. Let's start over here, I guess. Uh, this is kind of just quick stuff. Uh, yeah, this shit is not organized great. Right? Floors, buddy. Teflon tape, screws, a few Allen keys. Um, and I didn't really. This is just how it is. I didn't organize it or anything for the video. Got my ladder. This is just like a three foot ladder strapped up here. With, uh, the bungee cord. I got all these strapped in with just a bungee cord and hooks. Um, like I said, this is just kind of quick, quick little job. Knife um, cutters, electrical boxes, and for cleaning like cabinets. Yep, and then we're. Uh, this is, gets interesting right there. This is kind of just my screw shelf. Um, this is just all types of screws. Up here, drill bits, hole saw bits, pencils, some EMPs. Then we got some dial. I gotta throw this away. Um, like he said, or just random shit in here a bit. Allen keys. And this is kind of just my main tool area. Impact drills, saw, saw, saw. Oscillator, grinder. Um, 18 gauge nailer, I love this thing. Up here, got my levels. Got a few of them, a few clamps. I still have some tools in my truck that I gotta bring in here. Kinda just my catch-all. Um, batteries, drill bits, um, more drill bits in there. Um, bunch of cock, hot glue gun, mask over there. <laughs> I mean, nothing too exciting, just some plant tools. We got drywall shit in there. These are my bags. Um, this is kind of what I use, you know, every day. Um, chisel, channel X, snip, you know, shit like that. This is not really in here. Yeah, I use this every day. It's about in my plumbing. Um, yeah, and we're working our way down here. Just random screws, random fucking screwdrivers, drawers, I love, um, I want to get one more set of these drawers, um, they're like 40 bucks, they're not too bad, um, again, not the greatest quality, but I'm gonna get one more, one more drawer up here, and then I want to hang another drawer, like right there, just to maximize my space here, um, this drawer, this is like my wall anchor and random screw area 
These are the best, easiest ones. I was wondering. Here's where. Like wood filler, uh, more kind of random screwdriver. Uh, this is what I use when I'm changing toilets. This is like a fluid uh, sucker for like a truck. I'm gonna suck the water out of the toilet with this thing. What sucks about this setup is when I gotta get down here, I gotta lift this off pretty much. Super exciting. Got a weird contour gauge. Uh, Couple of valves, and more valves. Black spring. Lighter snips in there for some reason. Piping. I got a laminate wood thing in there. I don't know my Chevy right now. I at least got my vacuum hanging up there i want to do another little box here or shelf there or something uh the snap cutter is sitting there and here old miter saw flare gun old channel eyes, old saw mixer corded sander this thing's pretty nice it's big it's like 80 bucks um, but it fits a lot in there uh, and it's got a couple dollies back there a couple mud pans i don't like these plastic ones i just end up throwing them away uh yeah not much up here a little vacuum five minute whole saw for lights more five minute paper towels uh, couple locks this lock my key broke off inside so not great and paint extra wire up in here oh, there's my basin wrench uh, get down here i think i'm gonna do more shelves here because this is just kind of waste of space. I can probably put these in my bed of my truck and just do shelves all the way across. But this is a nice area I can slide in drywall or plywood and then I can strap it in with these two. Just wanted to look up some more information to make this a little bit better here. Uh, so I got the the website pulled up where I got it from. <clears throat> The price now is $5,500 um, with taxes, title, transfer, all that stuff. Um, uh, it says built like a tank, heavy duty, highest gauge, American steel, Duraframe design built to last. Your strength. <laughs> um, what else we got here? road hugging axles and tires i mean it does it handles well i mean i don't really notice it back there at all uh it weighs about 1300 pounds overall length is 13 feet 8 inches overall width 6 feet 10 inches overall height 6 foot 8 inches the interior length is 10 foot 5 inches and the interior height is 5 foot one inches so when you're walking in there i do have to duck down a little bit not the comfiest thing but five foot one inches it's not terrible um getting in there five-year warranty on it um on, on everything five years on the beam lifetime on welding defects and you also get a two-year uh inspect two year, once a year inspection for free so they'll go over it and fix anything that's happened or you know just look over it pretty much um so yeah that's pretty much it i wish there was uh more space inside i got 
tools in my truck still. Um, and I just can't fit a lot of stuff in here, but it's, it's still really nice and super easy to park and maneuver if you're in the city, uh, which is what I like about it. The main reason I went with this five by 10 is I needed to get it in my garage. I don't want to leave this out um, just where I'm at. So uh, I had to fit in my garage. Uh, height was the issue. I got plenty of, I could have got a 12 footer. I could have went with six by 12, but the height was the issue getting it through the garage. So I had to go with the five by 10, which, you know, I like. Um, I think if I add some more shelving, it will be, I'll be able to get almost everything in here. Uh, build quality on this thing is super nice. Everything is built really good. They got 16 inch on center uh, studs, uh, or whatever you call them. This door here, you can hang on it. And you can pull yourself up on it, weld it in. Uh, love the undercoating. These, these metal guards here, I wish you could step on them. Like I said, you can't step on them. That'd be sweet if you could. But it is what it is.